In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an animated overlay using free AI tool. So you can see beautiful overlays like I'm showing you now. Okay, we want to go swing over to Pixverse, log in with your email account or create a new account. Click continue to have the application access your account. Then we want to click on create. We can create an AI video from an image or we can actually use the prompt which is what I'm going to be doing today. You can control the strength of the motion and the seed as well. But like I said, in this case, I'm going to be creating a prompt of a light-skinned female human org or rogue that is dark hair world of warcraft theme let the video generate and here we go here we have our first ai generated video using pixiverse now if you want to upscale you can i'm also going to create another video with a dragon with a World of Warcraft theme, you can see the castle looks straight out of the game. And once you create those videos, we'll go right over to our editing software, DaVinci Resolve. Now we go ahead and control A and bring them both down or select them one by one and bring them down onto our timeline to edit. Here I'm going to increase the length of the videos by doing a control A once again and copying them in front of each other. I'm going to add a dissolve between each of the images. And so the video will be much smoother when I do that. What we do here is go into our effects or transitions on the top left. But before we do that, if you wanted to add more color or enhancement to the video, we go to the tab below and add a qualifier which controls the hue, saturation, and luminosity. Back to the editing. Now as you can see here, the transition is very choppy when I hit the play. If I reverse it and then hit play, you'll see it's choppy, so I'm gonna add a, a dissolve. But let's swing over to cropping, which is on the right, the inspector. In the inspector, we want to click on cropping, which controls the vertical and the horizontal. We can also zoom in, zoom out. I'm going to go ahead and customize this to my liking. And this also helps with removing the watermark, which we don't want to see. Let's move over to our video and add a transition, non-addictive dissolve. Bring that down between the images here. And as you can see, when I add it between the images, it's a nice transition. You don't even see the cut. Now what you're seeing on the screen right now is CapCut. And the reason I'm using CapCut is because I want to add text to this video. So I uploaded it from DaVinci into CapCut. Next, now that I've lengthened the video, I'm going to add, uh, move this over to the left and crop it and add the dragon, bring that down. And I'm going to be putting this dragon to the right to now we're starting to create our overlay. I'll customize this as well. Move it over to the right controlling it length and horizontally. There we go. Now that looks pretty good to me. We hit play and we can see both of the images are side by side. Of course, I'm going to make the dragon longer, just doing the control A and then control V to cut them into place. Now we're going to want to make this a little bit different than all the other overlays, and that is by creating a background drop. Here, I'm going to take the dragon and make it go under the other video, and then I'm going to spread it out 
So we have a nice little background there of the castle. And then once we do this, I'm going to head over to the adjustment and line them up again. This is look really cool right now. Then I hit play, but the bottom is a bit too bright for me because we want it to be an overlay. We don't want it to stand out too much. So we click on adjustments and start tweaking it by a temperature, hue, and saturation. We want it to be in the background, just very subtle, but not sort of in your face. So we brighten it. So we lower the brightness and the contrast and the highlight just to have a little bit of a shadow effect. So it's in the background, but not in our face, just a little bit discreet. So now that we're satisfied with the backdrop, we're going to start adding and building this overlay and make it very unique by adding the text that we want to see. Now CapCut has some pay version, but there is plenty of ones that are not paid that we can use here. Go down to social media. We want to look for a few images that have the like button or any other ones that you'd like to use here for your overlay. Once we're done with that, we click on the effects and once again, look for ones that are either free or paid. And we drag them on to the bottom there. There's so many here that would take an entirely different video just to show you all the effects. I'm going to pick one that to my liking and add it to the video below. And that's pretty much it. It seems like we've completed our overlay. And now the only thing we need to do next is to download it to our desktop. We click on export. I'm going to title this World of Warcraft to make sure that your format is MP4 and your frame rate is at 30 frames per second. Here we are downloading it and exporting it. And once we're completed, we can open the folder and we are complete Now, depending on your internet speed, some of these videos may be quick or just give it some time and it'll download. Now, what you're seeing on the screen now is OBS. This is the final step in creating an overlay. We want to add a media source in OBS and carry the video that we've completed in CapCut. Here, we're going to loop it. And if you want to add a video capturing device, you can. And this is what we're going to do here by adding the plus sign and going to video capturing device. We also don't want to forget adding a chroma key, which removes the green screen and we place our image to the right. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.